Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to 2020. I can't believe we're in 2020. Happy Christmas, Happy New Year. It's It's been a while. I know I've took a little bit of a break on Instagram, and on Instagram, on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Life just kind of took over. So I know I've been a little bit... <sighs> I've just gone missing lately but anyway I'm back and I wanted to obviously do well I've got me Festa Beauty coming up that'll be on in the next in the next few days but I put up all on my Instagram to see if anyone wants to see what I got for Christmas I didn't get a huge amount like of skincare and everything but I thought why not just show you it all and everyone most people said yeah so although it is a little bit late I am so sorry but in today's video I'm just going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. I hope everyone had such a lovely Christmas and just spent time with family and friends and just had a good time basically. But today's video is just literally what I got. And I think as you get older, you don't really get as many things. And I think honestly, as cheesy as it sounds, it's honestly, it's not about what's under the tree. It's about who's around the tree. I think as you get older, you sort of realise that life's too short. Like presents, like it's nice to get things, but... It's not the be all and end all, like it really is. And so when my mum was like, What do you want? I was like, There's literally nothing I want. Like, obviously, skincare and stuff, but there's nothing really like I wanted. She did get me me new bed, which is which is coming in January. So I can't wait for that. It's like an Ottoman bed, and I just can't wait for it, basically. But yeah, so I've got quite a few stuff actually. So I thought I would just show you it all. It might be a little bit of a long video, so you may as well get comfy. But I hope you all enjoy it anyway. As I say, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, and let's just begin. So I don't even know where to start off. Let's just start. I just start anyway. Okay, so I well used to go to the gym. Well, I've just, I haven't been for the gym for a while, and not a while, about two, three weeks I haven't been in the gym for, but I got, I was, got used to going like quite regularly, and there was this girl in the gym, and she has one of these bottles, and she just looked dead cool, and I was like, I want to be a cool kid in the gym. So I said to me only ages ago, like, the chilli bottles, and so she actually got me one for Christmas, and she got it engraved with my initials on it, which was so cute, and she got me my favourite colour, which is purple. So this is just a dark purple, it's all matte, and it's just basically a water bottle that you drink out of a lot of people have said to me how can you use that in the gym the gym i go to is just classes so you're not actually on a treadmill like drinking it's just pure like station so i was so happy i actually got this i didn't actually think she'd get me i mentioned it like in september when i was really going to the gym and i was like oh, there's this girl she looks dead cool and i want one <laughs> and my mum got me it to get i've got like a little chili bottle which i love i love the color purple is my favorite color and it's matte and it was, I think it was like a limited edition one and then she got me initials in it and then she also got me some it's like what you put around to carry it as well but I think that's somewhere in the bag but yeah so I got that then I got also off my mum so these are the real techniques as much as I like skincare I do actually like makeup as well believe it or not so these are just what um what you put your makeup brushes in but they actually go in your bathroom so well, I think they go in the bathroom because they just stick on the back here, I think. I think they, they're quite sticky. Yeah, I think they're quite sticky. So, I haven't actually opened any of them. There's instructions on the back how to use. Right, okay, so peel off, place onto a smooth, dry surface. So, probably, you're not really going to put them on your bedroom wall. So, I would say they're more for, like, bathroom. And, because they're obviously waterproof as well, as well, as well, the silicone. So, I thought they were cute as well. By Real Technique, which is Sam and Nick, which is Pixie Whip. So I got those. I got not one, but two vouchers for Harvey Nicks or Beauty Bazaar. If anyone knows me, you all know I absolutely love Beauty Bazaar in Liverpool. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. You walk in, it's just skin kit. It's just beauty buff for Harvey Nichols anyway. So I've got one voucher for a hundred off my boyfriend, which was so kind of him, and then I got one off my secret Santa for fifteen. So I've got. £115 spent in Beauty Bazaar. I've already been in my head thinking about what can I get. I was going to get a massage and I was like, I don't know. I think I should get more skincare. I was thinking I need to try more stuff. I need to review more stuff as well. So I might actually put a poll on my Instagram when I do go to Harvey Nicks. What products you like? You want to see me review or anything like that. So looking forward to spending those. I've got like a lot of sentimental presents as well. Oh, my boyfriend, he surprised me. He's taking me to Berlin in March. So that was just so lovely so i actually i'm going to berlin he also got me oh he got me the, this candle here he look, i love candles yankee candles so this is the red raspberry i don't know if you can see it let me get it hmm, nice so he got me the red raspberry as well 
which was like a little stock and filler type thing. And then I'll tell you this little cute story. So, and then he also got me this one, which was called Snow in Love, which is so cute. And it smells amazing as well. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> little story behind this. I was in I was in his unboxing night and um, we were playing like bingo. And his mum was giving more, out more presents and she was like, oh, I, I forgot to give you your one. So he opens it and it was like a bit, he loves candles as well, he likes his room smell nice. And it was like a huge big Yankee candle, like big sizes, then really small sizes as well. And inside it was the miniature of this, of Snow and Love. So I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, that's amazing, that's so nice. And didn't think nothing of it. And then unbeknownst to me, whilst I'm going, oh my God, this is amazing, this smells amazing. He actually ordered me the full size one and then... It came to the day and he was like, I got you this, so, because he you knows to like it, so yeah, so this smells amazing. But I'm going to like that one first, keep that one, and then use this one, which was so really thoughtful. Um, he also got me my favourite foundation, which is Luminous Silk in the shade 6.5 when I wear a tan. I haven't actually worn it today. This is YSL Tushy, Tushy, Tushy Class, is what I'm wearing today, but this is just my all time favourite foundation. I have loved this since Jacqueline Hill mentions it absolutely years ago and I'm talking five six years ago and it's just luminous silk and in the shade 6.5 6.5 is a bit dark for me right now because I'm so pale but when I do like to when I only really wear makeup when I go out if I'm being completely honest and when I film so when I'm like going out I will obviously have tan on so this is just gorgeous and it's just I find it's the only foundation I find with like MAC I find MAC can like sit into like my pores and sit actually into my pores whereas this just glides on it's just a gorgeous foundation and because i am a dehydrated skin type it is great for dry skin so finally got myself a new foundation which i was so happy with then i got this just little dove set which is cute so there's a candle in it and there's actually my favorite body lotion i love the dove body lotion the only thing is the actual dove it's it's so strange so the Dove, the Dove body lotion, I love. I love for when I get out the shower. I think it's gorgeous. But the actual Dove shower gel, it's weird. It just dries my skin out so much. So I can't actually use the Dove shower gel, but the Dove body lotion's gorgeous. But yeah, for some strange reason, I don't know what it is, the Dove actual shower gel dries me out so bad. And it's be, I've noticed it for years. And very first noticed it when I was 13. And I stayed in my friend's house and it came on my dove and I got washed with it. And I remember getting out of the shower feeling like really tight in my skin. And obviously I didn't know what it was. I was only like 13 and I was just like, I feel like tight. And it was ever since I realised it just dries my skin out. And that was from when I was 13. I'm 26 though. So that was literally half my life away. But yeah, so I got this, which I think it's lovely. And it, there's a candle in there as well. It just says it's the perfect pampering gift set. Which off my boyfriend's family. Oh my God, you wanted to see what they got me. They really did spoil me. They got me a gin glass with Stefan. But I've actually left it there. Um, this body set, because of oh, that. So what happened was, I'll tell you. Every time I see her, she was mum, she always smells lovely. And I was like, oh my God, that's lovely. What is it? What perfume was it? And she was like, it's only next. It's lovely. And she actually got me the the body lotion and the perfume, which was so thoughtful. I was like, she was like, I know you're always saying you like it on me. And I was like, so happy with it. So I got, she actually got me it twice. So I got this one, which was the, the 200ml and the larger perfume. And then the smaller perfume and then the travel size. So these are perfect because I've been going on like little weekends away here and there. These are perfect for like I just put them in like my little skincare bag. I've got like a travel skincare bag what I take with me. And I've, I've always got to when I get out of the shower just put body lotion on and this smells so lovely. And then I just like to keep this. I keep this in my handbag and then I'll keep this just on my drawers, on my table behind me. But I love how like it's just little cute minis. But this, the body lotion, they're both the exact same. Both, it's even... Oh Nude, is it? Oh Nude from Next. With Vitamin A, but just so cute. And it smells like, it's similar smell. I think it's like along the lines of Mademoiselle from Chanel. So it's like similar lines. You know, the way like Next and like New Look and Primark and Zari or like copy like the bigger brands. It's like the copy of that. But honestly, I love a perfect for my bag as well, just to keep on the go. I always keep like a mist or a spray in my bag. So yeah, I got those. 
Oh, my mum also got me this from La Cura. So this is the Plink Pink Clay Golden Glow Multi Mask. So it's like this. And do you know what it actually reminds me of? It reminds me of Pixie's Double Cleanse, the way it's laid out. And then inside, oh, it's mixed. There's the two actual separate masks, but they've actually mixed. So I'll have to give that a clean. Oh, so I got that. And then a few more presents I'll show you. I also got this off my boyfriend's as well. It's my favourite drink to drink. We was actually out. I'll tell you this. You know the cute little story. Um, we was out in September. It was a while back, and we were at this bar. And like I, we both normally just drink like rhubarb and rhubarb, rhubarb and ginger gin with like lemonade. And we were in this bar in Liverpool. And she was like, we've only got rhubarb and rose hip, is that okay? And he was like, yeah, that's fine, we'll, we'll just have that. And I was drinking and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, no, you really can't stop drinking it. I was like, oh my God, this is really such a nice drink. So at this point in, I'm four gins in and I was like, I'm going to go and ask. So I was like, excuse me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was like, what gin is it? Like, where, where is it from? What is it? And she was like, it's rhubarb and rose hip. I was like. Hang on, get me notes out. So it goes on my notes, right? Rhubarb and rose hip. And I must have been going on about it ever since. Like, oh my God, I love that rhubarb and rose hip. And he surprised me with it. So this is rhubarb and rose hip gin. It looks like that. I love the bottle as well. And it, to be honest, I've never really seen it on the shelves in like as the Tesco, Morrison, Sainsbury's. But when I go to Cornwall, I always see it in the Juicy Free. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you get it. I think you got it online, but oh, you need to try it. It's such a good And just look at the bottle. Isn't it so cute? So I love this. I was like, oh, you remembered from September. <laughs> Poor lad must be hard as shit. And then last up, a game was from my boyfriend's family. It was the most thoughtfulest thing. Oh no, I've got one more present, one more present. But this anyway, it was just so thoughtful. Like, and it's, I've actually had this idea before and it didn't go to plan. I'll show you. So it's basically, it's some flannels. So gorgeous pink flannels with my name engraved in it. In like a baby pink. Now I actually done this when I first started my blog. I got cream flannels and I wanted my initial like gently, like very softly stitched in. Like that. Mine came out. Let me just see if I've got them. No, I can't actually find them. But basically they was white flannels with sd me initials sewn in but i mean <laughs> where that's like all nice and dainty and cute these were like big big black thing <laughs> right across it sd look like someone had got a stamp and just stamped me initials into it and i was like <gasps> the fab <laughs> and i picked them up i was like oh my god the gorgeous like you know you're just like what the hell anyway i still ended up using it because it was still a flannel but that was like so long ago and the fact that she actually got me she got me two so she got me this one that one and then the bigger one look at that isn't that gorgeous like honestly i nearly started crying i was like it's it's just so thoughtful i think because she knows obviously how much i love skincare and i think she sees so many flannels around the house where i'm like taking my makeup off and cleansing i think she must have just thought i'll get it but honestly like i am honestly so grateful i was just so happy i was like oh my god no one's ever done nothing like that for me before so yeah i don't even think i'm going to use it. i just think it just looks nice Look, Steph, and they've got like little, isn't that so cute though? So yeah, so I'm so happy with that. I don't even think I'll use it to be honest. I think it'll just purely be for show, like maybe when I get my own place or whatever, but really do love those flannels. just think they're so cute. And then last up, one of another favourite present of mine was from my brother's girlfriend. And this I'd actually seen a while back. Saved it on me, like screenshotted it and never really like bought it and she got me it and it's the skincare bible and i think it's from dr anjali marto i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah so it's basically all like your a to z of skincare i had a little quick look through it i haven't actually read it but it says your no nonsense guide to great skin it says we all know that taking good care of our skin is the key to effective health health and beauty regime but so much conflicting information is out there the path, the path to healthy clean, the path to healthy skin can seem far from clear. 
So she's one of the UK's leading dermatologists and it's basically... So, these are some of the topics. So you've got like acne, scarring, rosacea, pigmentation, freckles, dark circles, hormones, signs of aging. Honestly, this... I, you know, you really cannot wait to read them. I just haven't had a minute to myself. But it's all about like how your diet, some about puberty. It talks about as well double cleansing and everything like that. So it literally is a bible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sandra Rubens girlfriend. Like I wasn't even expecting it, and I've wanted it for so long. But I just I don't even think it was that expensive either. But I just I've always wanted it and just kept forgetting or just never got around to getting it. So. I'm so glad I got it, so thank you so much, but, oh no, one more. <laughs> uh, this game was from my boyfriend, which was some little, and uh, it is from Lush. Now, some of you may know, I'm not really a huge fan of Lush, I don't know what it is, and everyone who I work with is like, oh my God, Steph, you need to go to Lush, you'll love it. And it, I just don't know, I think it's a bit overwhelming when you walk in, and I just feel like the smell all hits you. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of Lush, but I know a lot of people love it. Anyway, he got me this. I've not even tried it. It's called Plum Rain Shower Gel. So that's the shower gel. Oh yeah, and then it tells you as well who made it. So the product was made by Ben on the 27th of July, 19, and he can, can be used up until September. It's crazy that, isn't it? So yeah, so we've got the that plum rain shower gel the rains have arrived bringing rich fresh plum juice for fruity cleansers fab and then i've got oh there's actually the name inside it was a it was a bar of soap and i was like i didn't know what it was but i know it smells like a refresher remember refreshers i could just eat that i think this is called bone man let me see It's called I don't know <laughs> Bahomian. I'm not sure, that's how it's pronounced anyway. Not sure how you pronounce it, but yeah, so I'm excited to use it. As I say, I don't really use many products from Lush, it'll be nice to see what they're actually like and if I like it, but I'll keep you all up to date anyway. Was that everything? Yeah, I think that was everything. As I say, I'm sorry it was late this year. Just the past few months, I just, honestly, I am not, I, I don't even know, like, what's been going on. It's just, I've not and a lot of people have noticed I haven't been filming as much, I haven't been uploading as much, and I get it. So, don't worry, I'm back, I'm sorting it out, I'm getting shit together. Steffi T is doing it for 2020. But yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, and as I say, it's not what's under the tree, it's what's around it. Making sure that everyone's happy and healthy, and that's all my New Year's resolutions were, really. Obviously, to do well in myself, but just to make sure, like, my family's healthy and spend more time with family members, that's what I've made as my New Year's resolution as well. So, hope you've all enjoyed the video. I hope you really had a lovely Christmas. Sorry, it's a little bit late, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you've all enjoyed it. Have a fabulous day. All the best for 2020 and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.